Section C, nice essay question here. Answer any two questions in the section. Remember, you've got three essays, and of those three essays, you just pick two. So your responses must consist of paragraph, paragraphs. Uh, it must follow the whole IBC method, introduction, body, and conclusion. Introduction, you introduce these three bullets. Your body, um, actually answer the bullets and conclusion just tie everything together so stereotyping as a social factor may lead to social classification of others which is one of the reasons for the them and us attitude that some people may have us versus them treating people in this way may eventually have a negative impact on the mental health of such victims uh, glossary here so what is stereotyping it often involves judging people based on various factors without actually considering who they are as individuals so write paragraphs on human factors causing ill health social factors. So I use the following as a guideline, uh, briefly state four possible social factors that may lead to stereotyping. Okay, so four factors here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Look top right, that's what we're gonna do. The answers. So gender imbalances and inequalities uh, in society and racism, that's proper. Gender imbalances and inequalities, you know, boys can do this, girls can do this, so these beliefs are extremely limiting. Two, ideas learned about other people from family members, friends, the media. Hey, you know what she said? Oh, you know what he said about her? Oh, and so on and so on and so on. Skinner, some gossip. So let's just say ideas. These aren't really ideas, it's, it's gossip. It's not the best way to convey information. Number three, not engaging with people who are different from you in some way okay these people look like me they talk like me i'm only gonna like chill with them okay not these peeps they're, they're very weird they're very different so just not engaging with different people four not being open to different ideas and other ways of living so just being closed off to other ways of living life a lot of your parents are like this maybe some of your fathers or mothers uncles aunties analyze two negative effects of a social factor such as stereotyping on the mental health of victims of stereotyping so it's eight marks here we need a bit more meat on our bone using a different color writing it in the middle two negative effects well victims of stereotyping they develop negative self-esteem so they just have a negative image of themselves as a result of these images that are not all that true. And it causes them to just have a, a negative opinion about themselves. They could experience some um, feelings of despair, which could lead to severe depression that could eventually result in really heavy psychological effects. So feelings of despair leading to possible depression. So you see with the first bullets, we give these quick punchy points with these four. We give a point and then we explain it a bit more. Um, third one here. They feel like they're not in control of themselves, which could lead to high levels of anxiety or just distress. They begin to believe that, well, they begin to believe the negative descriptions about themselves and they easily give in to bullying and harassment at work. So they, they believe all this nonsense that people are spewing or the media is spewing and they just become more susceptible to even worse things. Last four here. Critically discuss how a person could determine whether he or she may be unintentionally stereotyping others. Well, they may have to just examine their general approach with others and assess this approach, thereby reflecting on whether they may have preconceived ideas or notions about these people, which may confirm that they are indeed narrow-minded. So just your general approach, assess it. Introspect about group, ac group activities they may be participating in, which may exclude certain people. So in groups, are you excluding other people, you know, based off their race, religion, whatever it is? Consider their actions toward others and not associating with certain people to determine whether they might be acting in discriminating ways, in discriminatory ways. So just consider their actions. Could their actions possibly be discriminatory in nature? And just reflecting on movies and entertainment, the books they prefer and they choose to play, which may promote negative opinions about certain groups of people. So just constantly reflecting about the, the media that we consume. What is the stimuli? This media that we're consuming, is it generally hate speech? Is it these unpopular opinions that are marginalizing a specific group of people? And just being careful about it. So yeah, nice little essay question there. Very cute and quick.